Okay, today we're looking at grade five, module four, lesson 10, to compare and evaluate expressions with parentheses. So our first example, we are asked to write an expression to match a tape diagram, then evaluate. So let's go ahead and take a look at our tape diagram. We see our question mark down here, and so that kind of tells us what we are looking for. This is our missing information. This represents one, two, three, out of four. So we have three fourths here that we are looking for of the sum of nine plus 11. So we are looking at three fourths the sum of nine and 11. And then it says then to evaluate. So we are looking for three fourths times 9 plus 11. 3 fourths times 9 plus 11 is the same as 3 fourths times 20, which equals 3 times 20 over 4. We simplify. We have 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. 3 times 5 equals 15 over 1, giving us a final answer of 15. Okay, in our second example, we are looking for the whole of this tape diagram. We know to start that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal parts or 5 units. We know that 1 unit equal, is equal to 1 third minus one-fourth. So our initial expression then is going to be five times the difference of one-third and one-fourth. So five times the difference of one-third minus one-fourth. So to write that as an expression, we would have five times one-third minus one-fourth. Continuing, that would be five times, and we're going to go ahead and put these into a common denominator. We're going to do one-third times four, which is going to equal four-twelfths. And then one-fourth times three is going to equal three-twelfths. Put that in parentheses. This is going to be equal to 5 times 4 twelfths minus 3 twelfths is 1 twelfth, which is going to equal 5 times 1 over 12, which is going to equal 5 twelfths. So my whole here is equal to 5 twelfths. Okay, in this next example, instead of using a tape diagram to create an expression, we're going to use the word form to create an expression. So here we're asked to find the product of 4 and 2 divided by 3. So the product of 4 and 2 is going to be 4 times 2. And then that product is going to be divided by 3. We can write that as a fraction, 4 times 2 divided by 3. Continuing, we'll discover that 4 times 2 equals 8 thirds. And then simplified, this will equal 2 and 2 thirds. Today's secret word is cheeseburger. Okay, in this problem, we're asked to evaluate and compare equivalent expressions. So what we have here are six expressions, and we're asked to solve them and then compare them. The first one, we have 2 divided by 3 times 4. Well, 2 divided by 3, we know is 2 thirds, times that by 4, equals 2 times 4 over 3 equals 8 thirds. 
B, we have 4 thirds doubled. Doubled means times 2, which equals 4 times 2 over 3, which also equals 8 thirds. In this problem, we have 2 divided by 3 times 4. While it looks similar to A, we recognize that we have to solve inside the parentheses first. So this problem, written as a fraction, is going to be 2 over 3 times 4, which is going to equal 2 over or divided by 12, which is going to equal 1 sixth. So, so far, C is the one that's different. D, 2 thirds times 4 equals 2 times 4 over 3, again, equals 8 thirds. E, 4 copies, that would be like 4 times, the sum of 1 third and 1 third. So we're asked to find 4 times the sum of 1 third plus 1 third, which is going to equal 4 times 2 thirds, which we have already solved several times, equals 8 thirds. And in our final expression, 2 divided by 3 times 4, well, we know that a division problem is the same as a fraction. It's going to be 2 thirds times 4, which again is the same, which is also going to equal 8 thirds. So we, by solving all six of these, we see that A, B, D, E, and F all equal 8 thirds. C equals 1 sixth is the only one that is different.